No matter what you want, you back to be a pawn. Take your name to your brain like Scorpion's chain. Taking your money ain't leaving no change. Even evil can evil couldn't stop this yeah. man. He is evil next juggernaut, the son of Sam. Damn, yeah, man, here we go. Yo, what's happening YouTube? Jugger here. Check it out people. Welcome back to a very special unboxing video. This is the brand new Scuf Vantage controller and this controller is actually $200 and it's actually officially licensed by PlayStation for use just in time for Black Ops 4. We're going to go in depth with this controller as much as we can in the shortest period of time okay so i'm gonna skip some stuff but you've seen in the beginning of the video actually how you could break down this controller but i'm gonna let you guys know what's up right now just so you guys know i did order a separate cable which is actually amazing because i actually like to connect my controller when i'm gaming because of the distance between me and my setup so i'm always super charged and ready to go but i did get the wireless edition of the brand new scuff vantage just so you guys know i have been with scuff for a very long time okay uh, when I actually got my Scuff Vantage controller, it came with this letter, and we're gonna talk about this letter here in a few moments, okay? But before we get to that, let's talk about my history with Scuff Gaming. So, since Xbox One, by the way, Advanced Warfare is my favorite old Call of Duty, not because they've flown me out and they treated me like VIP, you know, it's because I thoroughly enjoyed the game from multiplayer to zombies, and especially. How much content they had when it came to DLC and microtransactions. It was just amazing. Now, this is a scuff one. You guys can see I have all the upgrades on it. And this controller, I think, cost me about $250, $300. And I actually have two of these. I have it in the Advanced Warfare theme with the zombies markings on the side. And as well as the all whiteout. But my all whiteout is kind of damaged right now. But this is the latest and greatest, especially with the grips on the side. Amazing controller for Xbox One. And it's actually called the scuff one with the white LED beautiful right there and I do have my first PlayStation 4 scuff controller which is the um, scuff P 4 PS that's what it's called right here and it's actually amazing as well we do have the two backdrops on there the two paddles on the back I like my scuff one for Xbox one actually has four paddles and I really do love four paddles instead of two and we'll talk about that here in a few moments. Now, these scuff controllers right here has my control freaks on. And I just did my previous unboxing of the Grand Slam control freaks. The brand new one from Control Freak. But I forgot to mention in that video. Hold on. But I forgot to mention in that focus, please. Let me use my nose. Oh, it worked. Nice. So, in that video, I forgot to let you guys know that these brand new control freaks actually have a bonus content, bonus in-game content. Use code EVILX at checkout on controlfreaks.com to save 10%. And you guys are looking at the bonus content right here, which is a brand new player card, which is awesome that you actually get to use just by using my code at checkout on controlfreaks to get yourself some of these bad boys right here. All right, so now back to Scuff Gaming. So, this is... My Xbox One, Scuff One, and my 4PS, PlayStation 4, Scuff controllers. Now, in that time, I actually love how the layout is on the Xbox One controller. That's why I love this controller so much. And when I came over to PlayStation, I had to readjust my mental and my physical of actually how these are positioned because it's totally different feel. It's a totally different way that you game on PlayStation over Xbox. And I preferred gaming on the Xbox One controller, the Scuff One. And now Scuff has actually introduced a brand new controller for PlayStation 4 and it's actually laid out like the Scuff One, which is amazing because I feel as if this controller was made for me and made for what I actually want to get done and have the advantage when I'm killing noobs in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I cannot wait to actually get this bad boy into battle when it Black Ops 4 gets released here in the next six days. It's going to be amazing. First things foremost, the packaging here is amazing. This box is super heavy. So what's in the box? Features. We have paddle control system, um, saw sacks buttons, which is the buttons on the sides, these buttons right here. We have 
um, quick access, remap and switch, customizable trigger areas, trigger controls, adjustable hair triggers, quick shift trigger stops, trigger covers long and short, interchangeable magnetic face plate, audio touch bar, which is brand new, which is so freaking amazing, removable vibration modules, high performance grip. We have wireless Bluetooth mode, and we have shapes, the thumbsticks, the inclined mechanical bumpers, the interchangeable D-pad and control disc, anti-friction rings, cable retention system and micro USB port, built-in speakers and integrated light bar, touchpad, and an audio jack, which is amazing. So you have also in this box, we have the Scuff Vantage protection case. We have a sticker pack, which is awesome. We have a 10 high speed braided micro USB cable. Dang, I didn't even need to order that one over there. Well, at least two is better than one. That's what she said. Accessories, we have one control disc. We have the fan, the vampire triggers. That's what I call them right there. We have the scuff key, of course, so that you can auto tune your, um, your triggers to how you like either hairpin or you want it to be more loose. We have this 2X anti-friction rings and we have 2X long dome thumbsticks, which is amazing. Now, if you're wondering what all that looks like, this is what it looks like right here, the Scuff Vantage controller. So this is the breakdown of everything I just spoke about. I should actually use this reference model a little bit better, but you guys can see the sax buttons on the left and right of the controller. We have the interchangeable face face plate right here. So you can actually order these parts on control, oh no, control, sorry, wrong uh, products, um, Scuff Gaming. And they're actually gonna have these face plates available in the future and they're gonna have them where you can actually just pop these off and put them on the controller and you, they're probably gonna be super cheap. Hopefully they're not more than maybe 25 bucks, you know, to change up. If you guys see my little intro, I actually had this the Fortnite skin or face plate in my intro while holding it while I got invited out to E3 by Microsoft and Scuff Gaming actually had me hands on try to scuff Vantage at that point in time. And we had the Fortnite edition on. You can actually flip that on and put that on, which is pretty cool because you can actually do that pretty easily. Removable vibration modules, which is right here in between the controller. You can actually pop it on and put it in if you don't like the vibrations, which are awesome. Hopefully you can actually customize those in the future as well. I have LEDs, which would be great. Um, if you have like a, um, a clear faceplate, which would be awesome. High performance grips. We have customi customizable thumbstick area, anti-friction rings, which is these right here. You can actually customize those as well. Trigger control system, paddle control system, which is the four paddles on the back, which is exactly what I was talking about. Like my 4PS, PlayStation 4 one, only has two paddles, but the Scuff Vantage actually comes with four, like my Scuff one on the back, which is freaking amazing, and I love it and compatible with PlayStation 4. Now they're actually making this compatible with PC as well. So they're gonna be a, uh, a software update where you can actually just download and use this on PC and play like it's an Xbox controller, but it's a PlayStation controller, which is amazing. All right, um, spoke about that. And you guys can see this box is pretty good. The, mate, the packaging is totally beast. Now we're gonna take this out. And you guys are gonna see what it actually looks like all right this thing is a very sturdy box it looks like a freaking care package it's actually a care package it looks really nice so wow look at this the scuff advantage now this is not the one that i ordered let's talk about this this letter really quickly so dang i just threw my control freaks on the floor yeah that's nice so the, this letter basically says that this is not a scuff controller that you personalize or customize to your liking because of high volume due to high volume they had to just send me the basic the generic the default scuff vantage controller but they will mail me my parts my face plate my rings and all of that necessary part that i actually made or customized my controller with on their website they mail that to me in 40 days but for my patients they will give me a 25% off, 25% off code right here. So anyone can use it if you guys want to use it for the next 120 days. So you can actually get this controller off for 25%, which is like $25 off, which is amazing. 
if you want to get one of these, you can actually use that code right there. On behalf of me for hooking you guys up because they screwed me out of customizing my controller. But in 40 days, if you follow me on Twitter, I will actually tweet out. I will not make another video. I will just tweet out exactly what it looks like um, because I'm getting it customized to the point where I actually have my logo actually lasered on to the faceplate itself. And then my rings are white. And you guys already seen it. You guys seen it. I'm saying I just I popped it up on the screen. You guys know what's going to look like, especially with my logo on it. It's going to look amazing. So how this actually came to be. So the Scud Vantage controller was announced back in March, May of this year. And people ordered their controllers in May. I ordered mine in July. And this was actually supposed to come to me since today's date is, is October 5th. Today's October 5th. And I actually ordered this in July 6th. And it was supposed to get delivered to me on the end of August. And it didn't. And then it was supposed to get delivered to me. Got an email from Scuff Gaming saying it will be delivered to me on September 25th, which it didn't. And a whole bunch of YouTubers got this for free and did an unboxing video with all the parts or some of the parts, some of the new parts that we don't even have yet as paying customers. And it was really irritating because I was hoping to get this control in time for the beta. Uh, for multiplayer and I didn't and I was hoping to get it in time for the Black Ops beta and it didn't happen but at least it's here for in time for Black Ops for the actual game so I can actually game with it but what I'm trying to get at is that the customer service as Scuff Gaming is horrible they do make amazing products but their customer service is totally horrendous and you guys can see from all the pop-ups right now how people are so frustrated because people that ordered it and YouTubers that got it for free wasn't fair even though it is part of advertising and marketing, but at the same time, the paying customers should always come first because they know at that point it wasn't available and they were trying to sell it as if the controllers were available right now and it really wasn't. And people that ordered back in May still have not got their controller yet. So me actually opening this freaking controller right now, this Cubana controller on October 6th is a present and a gift to me that I actually finally got it after four to five months of waiting. So those people, I'm just letting you know, if you order this Scuff Vantage controller right now, even if you get 25% off, which is awesome, you will not be receiving this until 2019. So good luck with that. And I would say if you really want the product, like I really needed this product, it was a need and not a want um, for how I actually game and set up and I'm a YouTuber, so I really needed this. Um, I would say if you want it, don't really invest but if you need it like i do then i guess if you can wait then patience is virtue and you will get one of these bad boys all right so precision and control in every direction so there you go so let's this is my first time actually going deep into this box i've been waiting this entire time just to actually hold this controller and it's a different shape as you guys can see it's a different shape altogether from my previous controllers and it actually has a different feel which is amazing. It's a little bit bigger than the PlayStation controller and a little bit smaller than the Xbox One controller, but at the same time, it's a little bit wider than the rest of the controllers. Why is this not coming out? Is it that stuck on the inside? Like, the heck? Okay, let me put the camera down real quick and use two hands. How about that? All right, let's use two hands. Mm. Is it supposed to be this difficult? Oh, holy, wait. holy crap, guys. Is it stuck? Scuff is probably watching this video like, this moron. All right, there we go. It was really easy. It was just stuck a little bit. All right. Oh, my God. This controller. And right now, it actually feels lighter than my other controllers for some reason. But yes, this is it right here. This is the bad boy. This is the brand new Scuff Vantage controller. This thing looks really amazing. I know I had a little bit confrontation with Scuff on Twitter, but at the same time, these things, this controller is beast. This is what I needed. And I really wanted it, so I waited because I had no other choice. And <laughs> I did not want to cancel. Look at the grip. Look, anti-sweat. We got the four paddles on the back. So you guys know the paddles is what you actually can customize. At this point in time, everyone should know what paddles are. If you don't know what paddles are, okay, I'm gonna explain it really quickly. Basically, the X, square, O, triangle buttons, you can actually you know, customize the button layout to match the back of the controller. So you never have to remove your fingers from 
the buttons, you can actually use all 10 fingers to play like Mark of J because that was a beast. And now you have extra buttons on the side, which is the sax buttons, which is amazing. You can actually customize the D-pad on the sides as well. You can actually fully customize this controller how you want it, which is beast. It actually feels light. I wonder if it has the rumble packs in it. It probably doesn't. It's probably why. And you can actually take off this, this face plate. I'm sure you guys right right here right now. You can take off this face plate. It's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be very easy. Let me see. Yeah, there you go. Just like that. Just like that. So you can take off the face plate. You can swap it out with all the face plate. Here goes the rumble packs. Removable. So you can take off these if you don't like the rumble packs, which is awesome. This is pretty good. It feels like a freaking Iron Man controller. Um, over here, you can do the same thing. Removable. To let you know you can do that, but I'm gonna keep those in. Snaps into place, which is awesome. You could take off the sticks, replace the sticks. We actually have all the pieces in here. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly. We're gonna pull this up and blow. In here, we have the the case itself, which is awesome, and we have the pieces in here. So I'm gonna open this. You guys can see. Customize your experience just so you guys don't want you not to mm, See what I'm doing, but I'm just popping it open really quickly for For you guys So there it goes blad out and Here goes the extra pieces so cool so as well as the front you can actually customize the back and This little key right here you guys can see right there my middle finger. I'm not saying fuck you. I'm just saying it. That's it right there. You can actually put it into that little hole right there and fine tune the trigger stops. So you can have hairpin triggers if you would like so that it it shoots at a better rate. But basically what you're trying to do is um have the lag between the controller and the console so that you can actually shoot at a much um not a faster rate but more efficient rate, okay? You guys understand what I'm trying to say. With that, and of course, we have the D-pad, the circle one right there, you can put a circle D-pad on it. You have the vampire fangs in the back instead of those ones right there, and you have different sticks. So, I already popped off a stick, and we're gonna put on these ones right here, which is the, the long dome, okay? So you see how we have these ones right here, these short ones? We have the long dome right here. So we're gonna put that on. Snaps into place. Make sure I'm doing this right. I don't want to break my controller. Don't want to break my controller. Make sure I'm putting that on right. You guys hear all that clicking? <laughs> Click it in, baby. Oh crap! Be very careful when you do these things, guys. Cause you see, I was going to the side. Side to side. Jesus Christ. Okay. Bear with me. This is my first time doing this. Don't want to break my brand new $200 controller. Maybe this is the best way to do it. Okay. Sure, that's good. <laughs> my God, guys. 12 hours later. Why is this not going in? Okay, there we go. Finally, 12 hours later. Okay, so there you guys can see the difference right there. And you can actually change out these rings. And my rings are actually supposed to be white. So I'm just going to wait for those to come in. And you can just put it back on like this. Pretty easy, honestly. The faceplate is awesome. See how it snaps into place? So cool like that, which is awesome. I should have pulled this out. Anyway, so that's it right there. And you can actually, actually let me take that off because it looks ugly. Let me take off these, these stickers. These removable stickers. Okay, now it looks better. Blad out. And just so you guys know that if you want to change out the D-pad, 
you just didn't like that one but you wanted the ring this will go here like that let me take these off as well all this plastic take this off as well took off all that plastic so you guys can actually see the real deal I like the snap how it snaps on. Wow, that's nice. Now you see how I'm missing a D-pad? You can actually use the ring if you would like. And they'll snap right into place. Like that. And you can use that as your controller, as your D-pad, if you like that over this part right here. You know, some people like it that way. Just so you guys know, you can actually customize these as well. I'm not going to pop these out, but you can pop these out and use the fangs. And you can actually put this down right here and fine tune. You put the pin in here and you can fine tune your trigger stops how you want it. You know what I'm saying? So which is awesome. And I, again, I do love the four paddles. We have the charging deck right here. Love that. The light is on that side. This is the D-pad, which actually speaks to you. And you have everything at your convenience. Now, where control freaks is concerned, I'll show you guys that you can actually use your control freaks on the scuff advantage as well, because it works amazingly well. So when you pop on the Black Ops 4 Grand Slam, don't forget you can save 10% by using my code EvilX at checkout. And actually, can we? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. It, um, maybe not. Maybe not. Let me try the other ones. Maybe not. Okay, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Let me see if this works out here. It's hard for the Grand Slam. So, the Grand Slam ones, they're hard to go on, but they do go on. But they, these ones went on perfectly. So maybe the Grand Slam ones doesn't work, but the high rise, so the low rise don't work, but the high rise, mid rise actually works for control freaks on the Scuff Advantage controller. Hmm, that's hella weird. You think it'll be the same, same shape. Yeah, see this? See this one? Went on pretty easily. But yeah. Doesn't that look beast? <laughs> Anyways, enough of that nonsense. So, this is my brand new Scuff Advantage controller. And, you know, this is just an in-depth review for you guys. And you order it if you will like, you order it if you don't. It's up to you. Um, that will be it. So, until next time, guys, remember, treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. And I'm Jug. And I love you guys to the fullest. And I'll see you here for another one. Peace.